Can positive thinking make the difference between recovering from an illness or actually dying from it? Well, the authors of an article published in Nature titled Your Brain Could Be Controlling How Sick You Get and How to Recover really seem to think so. Now, um, they found that activation of the ventral tegmental area, that's a part of the midbrain um, where the reward centers are, can actually tremendously improve your immune function. And that is actually very interesting. Until now, we've probably been familiar with things like the broken heart syndrome, where we know that you know, people that are exposed to a lot of stress or sadness or depression can actually develop heart disease and in some cases um, you know, actually develop heart attacks and can die from them. And also we know the placebo effect where people that think they're getting the active ingredient might have you know, a better outcome than those who don't think they're getting the active ingredient. And that's been studied, of course. But according to this article, um, studies have actually documented a link between survival and the mental states of people with cancer. So in other words, those people that had uh, cancer and had a very bad negative outlook with negative emotions had a worse outcome or even died. Whereas those who had a positive outlook had a much better outcome and many of them recovered. So there was a very profound difference there. And in mouse studies, um, activation of this ventral tegmental area caused noticeable shrinking of tumors. The mice, how did we get them to have these positive thoughts? Well, you know, we actually used uh, technologies to stimulate that centers, these centers externally. So it's not that we gave them pretty pictures or something, but they actually, you know, used some external stimulation. There are some techniques that people, are, these researchers are studying now, how they want to help people with various medical conditions, such as transcranial uh, magnetic stimulation, and then also focused ultrasound. And with these technologies, they can reach this um, center, you know, where we have these, uh, this reward center and kind of trigger it so that we can actually then see an improvement in our immune system. This is under study. I think it's very fascinating. When you think about it, you know, positive thinking may really improve conditions from, you know, autoimmune disorders to even cancers. It has at least a very profound impact. And one thing that I've always been very critical of in my profession is, you know, as doctors, we're always trained to give the worst possible news usually. You know, we give the worst possible outcome. It's kind of a bit of, you know, cover your ass medicine. You know, if you promise too much and then under deliver, that's considered not good. But, you know, sometimes now reading this, at least, we really got to remind ourselves we may be inadvertently triggering or, uh, you know, causing people to have a bad outcome by virtue of having negative emotions when you give them a very grim outlook on things. So in other words, you know, if we say, look, you know, we have a percentage of people who might end up like this, but there's also some people who did much better. I think that's a better way to say it, you know, that's still true. And I think having hope and having um, a positive outlook on illness can help people recover better. You may also know this in people that have been married for a very long time when you know a spouse passes away, the other partner a lot of times passes away shortly after. You know, and that's something that's also we have a hard time explaining that other than that the emotional impact is detrimental in this case because it's a negative impact and it can negatively influence the immune system. It can cause illnesses to progress and can cause a deterioration of that person. So this is fascinating, I think. I think also when we think of viral and bacterial illness, which these authors also believe can be improved by, you know, how our outlook is on this, that's important as well. Because when we look back at these last three years, especially in the beginning, been very much told, well, you know, there's grim outcomes of everything. There were a lot of negative emotions. There was a lot of fear. There was a lot of anxiety. And I think that really had an impact on many people as well. I remember we had uh, COVID this last Christmas, but by that time I read all the studies and I knew that this new Omicron variant wasn't as scary. So we uh, went in, my whole family had COVID, but we weren't as worried about it. And that may have inf influenced to some extent that we had a very you know, short illness and a very good outcome in the end. So that, you know, these things might be more profound than we think. Positive thinking in other cultures is much more valued than in our culture, you know. We're all like, well, what medication do I take and, and all this, but you know, there might be more to it than just taking the medication or just taking a certain therapy and, you know, really understanding that how our brain perceives our state of health has a tremendous impact on us. So I think positive thinking, there's a lot to learn here and uh, again, it's important to understand that, you know, we can really influence in a, and I think that's a very positive message here. We can really positively influence our recovery by having positive thoughts on the outcome of diseases.